the ERG mode. To train at exactly the right intensity for an exact amount of time, the ERG mode setting is your best friend. All you need is a smart trainer and an app that can activate this mode. It lets you train on a specific target power. Your indoor trainer will subsequently keep you on that same target power, regardless of your speed or cadence. Every change in your cadence is automatically adjusted by your trainer by applying more or less resistance to keep your power output constant. So, if you set your REG mode at 200 watts, your trainer delivers more resistance at a low cadence and less resistance at a high cadence to keep your power at 200 watts. For this workout, it is key to control your cadence and to keep it at a desired RPM to avoid putting much more strain on your muscles. But, as with all things in life, you will never keep your cadence constant on the exact desired RPM. Therefore, the power output will show minor variations. Here you have our six tips for training in the ERG mode. One, first and foremost, keep your eyes on your cadence and not on your power. You only have control over your cadence, so keep it at the desired number all the time and keep it steady. Two, when your cadence drops, it takes a lot of strength to get it back up again. Also, with a low cadence, the force per pedal stroke and therefore the muscle strain is higher. If this isn't your training goal, then don't let your cadence slip. 3. There is a small delay in the cadence you adopt and the corresponding resistance that is set by your smart trainer. If you change your cadence every second, it will be nearly impossible for your smart trainer to keep track and adjust the resistance level. So aim for a steady cadence without big swings. 4. The ERG mode doesn't teach you how to use your gears properly, which is also an essential task in riding your bicycle. So use ERG mode for the right specific training sessions and don't ride all your workouts in the ERG mode. 5. Training in ERG mode is mentally a lot easier than when you have to pace yourself. The ERG mode is like a team time trial in which you are clearly not the best rider. It means that someone else is setting the tempo and you basically just have to follow. This is exactly what you need after a long exhausting day at the office, but also try to do some high intensity intervals with the ERG mode disabled whenever you feel like you're up to it. 6. Last but not least, your body is not a machine. Some days you easily hit the targeted numbers and other days even the warm up feels like someone has put the brakes on your rear wheel. ERG mode doesn't know how you feel, it just keeps you time trialing. So if you feel you can't handle the intensity, use your common sense and trim the power a little to avoid crashing yourself.